Welcome to PGM Billing, and thank you for viewing this brief demonstration of our practice management software. As a PGM client, you will be provided 24-7 access to our system via the internet. You can log on to our system using any computer or handheld device with an internet connection. Okay, let's get started. We begin at the PGM website homepage and use our login information to enter the PGM Remote Desktop. Once logged into the PGM Remote Desktop, we double-click on the PGM icon. This will prompt the PGM Practice Management System login screen, where we re-enter our login information. Once signed in, you will be taken directly to the search screen, where you can look for individual patient accounts and other information related to the patient's billing. In order to select the patient we wish to view, we can either search for the patient in the Find field by typing in the patient's last name, or by using the Advanced Search field and search by any number patient identifiers such as date of birth or social security number. Today we're going to take a closer look at patient Jane Baker. We are now taken to patient Baker's billing record. We begin on the ledger screen where we see charge and payment data that includes information such as transaction description, the date of service, and CPT code. To view more detailed information related to the patient such as demographics or insurance information, we click the registration tab located to the right of the ledger tab. Here we have all patient demographics such as date of birth, social security number, address, phone number, as well as insurance participation information. We are now going to leave the patient's billing record and show you how to run reports using the PGM billing system. To run reports from the PGM billing system, simply click on the reports icon in your toolbar. Four report folders will appear. By clicking on the plus button on the left of any folder, you will see a list of frequently used reports. There are currently over 100 reports within the PGM Practice Management Library in which to choose from. Such reports include accounts receivable reports, production reports, charge and payment reports, as well as many, many more. Should you determine there is a specific report not currently included in the PGM Library, PGM will create a custom report based on your needs and add it to the list. Now let's take a look at the commonly used production report by patient. You will find this report under the Practice Management folder. Simply double click on the report and select the date range that you require. Today we're going to look at all dates. The production report provides an overview of all charges classified by patient and date of service. All reports can be modified and sorted using a number of criteria. For example, let's say you only want to see patients under the CPT code 99213. This is performed by selecting the filter tab to the right of the report. Next, we add a specific filter and the criteria we wish to view. For example, CPT code 99213. We submit the query by pressing OK, and our report is now limited to all transactions under the CPT code 99213. We can filter by any number of criteria like patient name, service date, or even marital status. All reports can be exported in a variety of formats using the Export tab. This is especially useful when analyzing practice performance using third-party software such as Microsoft Excel. Of course, there is much, much more to PGM's practice management software. For more information or a live demonstration, please contact us toll-free at 877-751-7515. Thanks again, and we hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration 